thought I'd share with you my mail snafus that have been happening this last week or so. It's been the craziest thing. Usually everything we order gets to us, no problems, everything's great. But these things have happened to us in the last little bit. Last Monday, um, the tracking information for something I ordered said that it was delivered. Didn't get it. So we're thinking, hmm, it was a smallish item and it was delivered by the US Postal Service, so it was probably put in our mailbox and it was not there, but they say it was. So there's nothing we can do about that at the moment. I'm contacting the um, person I purchased it from, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and then the next day, the tracking information for something else that was sent here said that it was delivered. It was hand handed over to someone, delivered. Well, we went through our security cameras. We have cameras everywhere and both of our service entrance and our regular front door entrances went over and over and over the, the video tapes of everything and nothing nobody came nobody handed us anything but that's what it says in the tracking information again it's the u.s postal service so we don't have that one so now i'm trying to figure out what to do about that um again contacting the seller and uh, need to contact the post office but we talked to a lady um, who was delivering our mail that day and she said that they have a lot of different people that are um trying to just sort of fill in for the holidays and you know i don't know what's going to happen but so that's two items that were missing then uh day after that i received a box in the mail with my first name but a different last name and my address it was you know the, the right address for me it was an item I didn't even order. I had no idea what it was. So I opened it up to look and it um, was from a company that I then had to wait to contact for a little bit. So I waited, I contacted the company, said I did not receive, I mean, I did not order this, but I received it and someone's gonna be missing it. And it was definitely an item. It was two makeup cases with uh, names printed on them. So someone had ordered them, you know, with the names and all that for a gift, I'm sure. So I'm like, oh boy. So I contacted them and they said, oh, thank you so much for your honesty. Um, can, you, can you take a picture and send it to us so we know and we can tell the warehouse? sure so i go and do that and in the meantime i see that there's a phone number under the name of the person that it was supposed to be sent to so i thought i'll give it a try and just see if that's you know the phone number of the person well she answered the phone uh in a well it was her voice message you know hi this is jen leave a message so and it came to a jennifer different last name than me but at my address so i left her a message saying you know what's going on and um yeah that i received her package and it looks like she is from the chicago area judging by the um the prefix you know the area code on her phone so maybe she lives nearby and we could just i could just give it to her um but yeah in the meantime the company is going to send me a return thing <laughs> it's like oh really all this stuff i'm telling you it's crazy so i thought i'd give it a try called her she immediately called back and said yes it was her and she lives in my neighborhood just a few doors down i walk past her house all the time when i'm taking walks um so yeah she's gonna I, it's funny i've never met her before at any of the events or any of the uh, christmas parties and stuff but that house recently sold but anyway um yeah so it was a neighbor of mine it's all worked out and she's going to come pick it up from me but isn't that the weirdest thing <laughs> so and what are the odds we have the same first name? I mean, I know Jennifer's a normal first name, but still, you know, so weird. Anyway, had to share that with you too. And there was one other thing. What was it? Oh, and the other thing, I was just at my post office box and back in May, it was May 7th, my daughter adopted a soldier. It's this program where you can adopt a soldier. They give you a name of someone and you send them a gift, like a care package. And so they, she got the name of this uh, woman who is in the, I think it was the army not sure if it was Marines or Army. Anyway, she adopted her and got a list of all her favorite things and she put together this great care package and it was back in May. I remember I went with her to the post office. We mailed this package and I just got it back today. That was in May and this package, you have to see it, it's crazy. It's been everywhere. It's been around the world. It has been, you know, it's like a torn up giant mess. <laughs> But it got back here. It is in, you know, it's still in a decent condition. It hadn't been opened or anything as far as we can tell, but um, yeah. So it's absolutely crazy, all the different mail stuff that's been happening. Um, I mean, I can understand it because of the holidays and so forth, but uh, we're lucky it doesn't happen like this more often. But I just wanted to share my little stories with you. Um, kudos to all of the different places. <laughs> but I did see a cute, um, see on Instagram, this cute little thing about, um, delivery places like UPS and FedEx and the Postal Service and so forth. And if I can find it, I'll, I'll insert it here because it was <laughs> so true and so funny.
since I have you here anyway, I may as well tell you a few things about what's been going on lately. Okay, let's see. In the past week, all sorts of things have happened. Um, my oldest daughter went to London um, with my cousin, not my cousin, her cousin, my niece, uh, my sister's daughter. They decided to, they found some you know, inexpensive flights and they went to London. Um, my niece lives in the LA, in Los Angeles area, and um, Callan lives here with us. So they went separately and they met up at Gatwick and they uh, went on from there. And it was great. My daughter got to go through Iceland, which is so crazy. Um, yeah, she got a little stopover for about an hour and a half in Iceland to and from, which was a whole different world. I mean, she was on Iceland Air, which she got a fantastic price for the, for the trip. So that was good. Um, so yeah, it was kind of a whirlwind, but they put, they got so much done in that amount of time that they were gone. Oh my gosh. I mean, it was, it was just here, there, the next place, but they got to see so, so much and they had an absolute blast. So that was great. And she just got home last night. So we're happy to have her back. Um, but yeah, so that was a lot of fun. And, uh, let's see what else. Oh, so while a couple days of the days while she was gone, Jim and I went uh, and visited my parents. Uh, it's about a six hour drive, five, five to six hour drive um, in Indiana. And we just helped them with a few things that they were dealing with, you know, just little house projects and stuff. Just helped out with that and got to visit with them. And then I uh, quickly got back here in time to get her from the airport. So that was a little quick trip that happened. Um, and then all these, you know, weird mail and UPS and whatever things have been happening too, which is just nuts. But you know, I'm getting, getting those worked out. Um, I have a list of videos I'm getting ready to start filming soon. Um, you know, life gets crazy. I do the best I can, but <laughs> there's so much more that I want to do, you know, but you know, when it comes to my channel, then I'm really able to do. So if any of you wants to become my, um, personal, you know, assistant, just, you know, apply down below. I'm kidding. That would be great though. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't we all like to have one or two of those in our lives? Um, oh yeah, this also arrived. I got, this is the packaging by the way, in case you haven't seen the holiday packaging for Louis Vuitton yet this year. Isn't it pretty? It's just the agenda refill and there's the refill. Yeah. So it's for my small agenda. So I'm excited to get that put in there so I can start planning things for January. Yeah, and then let me see what to add. perfume samples. I can't pronounce them anyway, I'm sure. So, so there we go. That one. There we go. So that's what I got. That'll be fun to, uh, to try. I always like to get perfume samples. Yeah, what else? Um, Thank you so much for listening to my story. I know this was short but sweet. At least I hope it was sweet. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thanks.